Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome along to the vlog. Today we're going to be looking at Beersmith Web and how you can link your Beersmith Web to the Beersmith desktop application. So one thing to point out is that these two programs are standalone and I would fully recommend any alterations that you are going to make to recipes, equipment profiles or fermentables etc are done on the web-based version and then you can download them if you like or exchange the items as it's known on Beersmith desktop for the ones that are hosted on the cloud server and the cloud server of course being the web-based version so we're going to put a screen capture software on and have a look at both versions and see how we would start with a blank slate so when we are creating recipes and using the software we don't get too cluttered or lost in um, translation with things that are already preloaded there so this is beersmith web and if you don't already have an account you can just come across here and log in it says log out here because i'm already logged in I have the professional version which means I can use this across five desktop machines and I can store up to a thousand recipes on the cloud which is quite useful. So first things first you're going to want to download the application if you want to use the desktop version alongside the cloud based version. And then we're going to go into the desktop version and we're going to remove everything that's preloaded so we can start with a clean sheet. You don't have to worry about taking these things off because you can add everything back afterwards from the cloud-based version where it's all saved on Beersmith's servers. So I've already got the Beersmith 3.2.7, I believe, desktop version open. And as you can see, I don't have any sample recipes in there and I don't have uh, all of the fermentables preloaded, for instance. I don't have all of the mash profiles preloaded. I don't have all of the equipment profiles preloaded. I've just got my own profiles on there. So all you wanna do is select and select, and I'll even do it to my own profile things. Look, delete. I'm quite happy to delete these because we wanna start with a blank page. So we're gonna delete everything on here all the water profiles, all the carbonation profiles, all the ingredient profiles, all the miscellaneous profiles. Let's get rid of it all. So once all that's gone, we can then go across into the web-based version, the server, forgetting about the desktop one for a moment, and we can start to build what we want in the system. So we're gonna go across to profiles, and we're going to have a look at equipment profiles first of all because that's a good place to start so as you can see the profiles that i've just deleted from my desktop version still exist on the server so if i want to add them back i can simply do that with a click of a button so if we look at this little puzzle piece here where it says manage preloaded equipment you'll notice that we have you'll already have quite a few of these checkboxes ticked that means you're going to have all of this stuff on your equipment profile, all of this. Now, really good as a reference guide. If you want to know how to build um, an equipment profile for something like this, it's a good idea for you to have a look at something that already exists. So you can kind of copy from it. But I don't want any of this stuff because I'm going to build my own. So we're going to go back into manage preloaded equipment and we're going to uncheck everything. Okay. And we can do that on our ingredients, our hops, our fermentables. It all works in exactly the same way until you get to your inventory. Now your inventory is completely separate to the hops and fermentables and yeast and water profiles that you have saved. So if you want to keep track of your inventory, then you can either do it on the web-based version 
or if you've got several machines in several breweries you can keep track of the inventory within that brewery on each machine there and it won't interfere with what you've got on either any other machine or the cloud-based version so let's go back to profiles let's go back to our equipment we want to uh, install some certain preloads so I've already created a test profile here and I filled this in to my specifications uh, we'll talk about this on another video but one thing to bear in mind is if you want to take anything from the web-based version of Beersmith down onto a local machine then you have to do that from the local machine so on the web-based version on the cloud servers you'll be enabling things that you want so let's enable the base equipment profiles for instance and they can sit in companion with the customized profiles that I've made there and we'll just click refresh on that just to be on the safe side now I'm going to go across to the desktop version and we're going to have a look at the equipment profiles again and as you can see I've got nothing there at all because you saw me delete them a moment ago so we're going to go up to this little cloud with the left and right hour up there because we're going to exchange items with the cloud so we'll click on that button and as you can see everything has popped up again on the right hand side cloud data items and you can of course change to fermentables on here or water or miscellaneous whatever you like we're looking at the equipment at the moment so in order to download all of these I'm just going to drag over them all you can control shift select or whatever you need to do on your machine that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to copy all of these to my local machine there they are now one thing you'll notice is once they've been copied they become greyed out so if I for instance wanted to remove something so let's remove everything that came with that add-on that we applied on the web and uh, we'd want to delete that we can't do that here pressing delete doesn't do anything and we don't want to copy it back to the cloud because we'd come we create duplicates so if we want to get rid of that we need to come out of here and we need to do it here on our equipment profile now I've made this mistake in the past and I copied back thinking it would remove things it doesn't it duplicates them and then you have to go down slowly on your web based version and delete everything so that's worth bearing in mind I've highlighted the ones I don't want on my desktop version so I'm just going to press delete and it will get rid of them and if we go onto the exchange cloud items again you'll notice they're no longer there so if I just for instance click on the 500 litre one and copy that to the cloud you'll see now on the cloud we've got two 500 litre duplicates I can click on that press delete nothing happens so I've got to go back to the web based version and refresh to see that we now have two 500 litre Rory profiles well we're just going to click on it and then down the bottom it says delete profile so we'll just get rid of that so just bear that in mind one of the biggest mistakes I made was thinking that is remove from local it isn't you'll copy both ways it's not such a bad thing if you duplicate these and copy it to local and then copy to local again because on the desktop version you can highlight as much as you want and delete them but on the web based version you have to delete things one at a time and it really is rather irritating particularly like there we go look you'll see down the bottom delete so something to bear in mind so just make sure that um, when you decide what 
preloaded equipment or what preloaded ingredients you would like on your desktop version you need to set them up on the web-based version first and then go to the desktop machine and trans translate them across so that's the first thing you're going to want to do when you get beersmith 3 so if you hang around hit that subscribe button there'll be a few more videos coming along soon and we'll teach you how or we'll walk through how to create your own custom malts and download them onto the desktop version if you want. It's very, very similar to what we've just done. Just bear in mind, if you make any alterations to something on the web-based version, it won't automatically take effect on the desktop version. The best thing to do is delete it from the desktop version and then reinstall that one that you've just deleted from the web where you would have made your alterations. So keep liking, keep subscribing, and we'll see you on the next video.